I've come to the conclusion that the most effective way to stop this industrial juggernaut is for people individually, acting in true American fashion, to go out and resist it. And you can resist it nonviolently without danger to yourself or other people, but you can stop it. That if you go in and properly pull up survey stakes or help erosion wash out roads that shouldn't be there, that sooner or later the Forest Service and other agencies are going to realize that they can't maintain that really expensive infrastructure of roads. And just a number of things like this will eventually cause the retreat of industrial civilization for millions of acres. That, in effect, we can create our own de facto wilderness and cause civilization to stay away. And I visualize this as simple self-defense of the wilderness. That, hey, we aren't subversive, we aren't trying to overthrow any system, we're just saying hands off. Don't come into these wild areas, leave them alone. That we're the grizzly we're the wolf, we're the spotted owl, we're the ponderosa pine, we're the creosote bush practicing self-defense. I do not see any way possible for the current trend to keep going, that sooner or later things are going to have to crash. I think we're in a car going 90 miles an hour down a dead-end street with a brick wall right in front of us, and we're trying to look for the brakes, and I don't think there are any. That I think we're in a classic biological curve of just exploding population, exploding toxic production, exploding destruction of the earth, and the only way that type of population curves in is with a dramatic drop-off. And I sometimes tell people that I think if you look at the human race not as the, the consciousness of the earth, but rather as the cancer of the earth, that we're a disease ecologically here, that maybe nature has evolved some of us as antibodies. And that's the only way I can explain why some of us love wilderness and other people have no conception at all of it. And so our role in the future, I think, is to try to preserve as many areas of natural diversity as possible, to try to make sure that there are some wolves and grizzlies and ponderosa pines and spotted owls and snail darters and what have you, so that when this human insanity runs its course, that there is life to come back and repopulate the world. And hopefully also to develop the ethics and the potential for a human society that can live in harmony with the rest of the planet after this industrial madness burns itself out.